Quick little heads up before the video starts, the products that I'm using to clean the wheel, I've actually managed to get a discount from Viamontes, so use Team Kiefer at the checkout on their website to get a 10% discount. Thank you very much Viamontes, and now let's get into the video. Sup gamers, Marcel Kiefer here, and today I have for you another video, a different one. Today it's still a tips and trick video in some way, and it's not a racing video, but it is regarding sim racing and your sim racing products that you're using on your daily basis to improve that you're using also sometimes just for fun of course because sim racing is still fun and not just a profession but what we're gonna talk about is how to clean your Alcantara from your fan attack because I know for myself that I mean you can see it here this wheel is not old I literally got the direct drive like one month ago and the Alcantara blue already looks kind of washed out, worn out, and we are trying to fix that using a simple product that I've got from a cool company named Via Montes. Um, big shout out to them for giving me their products. Usually they are focused on normal cars, car care products. Um, but these ones also work on, well, Alcantara because technically this is still just a steering wheel. So you can use these and this is the product that we are gonna use. It's the Via Montes interior cleaner. And one thing about this company is also, if you have seen on my socials recently, I've been driving around in some really, really cool race cars. And one of them is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This is the sickest thing ever. And they're actually giving that away. So if you buy a product of them, you can see that here, buy a product and win a car. So if you head to their website, you buy a product, you can actually win Porsche or also a driving experience in a BMW M2 CS if I'm not wrong. So make sure to check them out. Their products are also really great, not just the giveaways, trust me. They're super humble and they're also just growing, so make sure to check them out. Maybe you will even win the Porsche that I've driven uh, forever. It could be yours. So yeah, make sure to check them out. But now, let's get into it. We want to get rid of this. And what we have here is for once, the magic stuff, the interior cleaner. On the other end, we have the edgeless, Waffle towel. This is the main thing that we're gonna use with the spray in combination. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I've done something. Then on the other end, we have the edgeless finishing towel, which we are just mainly gonna use to like cover stuff up because this is gonna get a bit messy and I hope I'm not gonna spray around too much. Uh, and then to finish it off, the drying towel because we might need that. I will try and get all of these stains out. I'm not sure because it's also worn if we can get fully rid of the black stuff. The Alcantara is blue colored and this is already black. I know, this is just because I'm driving without racing gloves. I prefer it that way, being completely honest, but I know some of you don't. Some of you use gloves and then it's easier, but still it wears off no matter what. So it's always good to care <laughs> about your steering wheels to keep the quality high in case also one day you need to resell it in case you stop sim racing or just in case you want to maintain a good level of quality which I definitely want to because these products are super expensive they are super high quality and I don't want them to look like they are not simple as that simple principle it's like having a go-kart and after you drove it you're cleaning it because you want to maintain it in a good state right so let's get right into it we're also gonna do a little unboxing. Super soft, and fluffy, big towel. So usually these things, of course, getting used for parts, right? There you can see. But this is gonna come in handy because we will spray around a bit with this here. And I don't want any of the technology to get a bit damaged or whatever, so I will be super careful. Mm, then we have the smaller one, the edgeless waffle towel. So it's not... Like this is not as fluffy, but it also shouldn't be. This is like for rubbing stuff into the top, uh, into the steering wheel with the towel, like some kind of spray material, whatever, just to like work on it. And then we have the softer one. This is really fluffy. This is also more, I would say, probably already for cleaning in some way, like cleaning it up in the end, because you can see this is super fluffy. Yeah. We all like the fluff. They will do the job. <laughs> I can already tell you, they feel amazing. The products are great. I will also put the link into the description and wherever this goes live, you will you will find a way to get to their page to check them out in case you also want to buy these products. 
to either for your own cars, like in real life in case you have some, or for your sim racing products, because usually sim racing products and car products, they are fairly similar. Makes sense, right? Okay, so I will put this here, probably, let me adjust this camera down here. I, I'm still new to reviewing stuff, reviewing stuff, so it might sometimes just be like a little kid playing around with stuff, but I will keep that up, because I am in some ways still a little kid. Sometimes, most of the time. Let's not lie about it, but we can put this here. Bam. Maybe turn it around so you can also see it better. Like the black stains. Looks disgusting because this is all sweat. All sweat. Um, like when you, especially with direct drive, when you have to fight the wheel a bit more and it gets dirty and it's not that nice. Not too, not too nice to look at and not so nice to feel as well and over time it also gets smelly so you really have to make sure you maintain your um, Alcantara leather in case you don't have like some kind of clean leather you have Alcantara which feels nicer but in the end you have to maintain it a bit more okay it's even I'm so stupid this is called finishing towel I was like I think this is more for finishing and stuff yeah it is for finishing so this is the finishing towel this is the waffle towel we're gonna work with the waffle towel I think initially I would just put a bit of the spray onto the waffle towel like it says usually you should you should put it on like a humid microfiber cloth but we're just gonna use it like this for now this is the first time that I use it so I cannot tell you like how to use it properly I will try and figure it out this is kind of a testing try and error but um they told me it should do the job because in the end they use this also for their Alcantara wheels we just have to properly work it in there so you have to also apply a bit of pressure, which is understandable, I guess. Maybe a tiny bit more. I don't want to get any of that in my mouth, eyes or something. In the end, this is the cleaning product. But yeah, this is gonna take some time, so I will probably also speed it up a bit. Or cut it out in some way when I'm not talking. But actually, I feel like... Nice! Yeah, do you see the blues coming back here? Like here it's still like super black. But here the blue is coming back. Like that's black. But here the blue is coming back. Holy crap! This is going quick. This is going quicker than I thought it would be. That's incredible. But yeah, like getting a new wheel is probably a bit more expensive than just cleaning and taking care of your steering wheel. And in the end, it will feel amazing. It will, it will feel hyper soft and super clean. I will first of all like focus on getting one of them super clean, and then show you the other, the other side. But you, you can see I actually use fairly a lot. I still have to show it in the camera how much I'm actually using of the product. But I use quite a bit. They also told me you can really put a lot of the thing on there. Don't be scared to use it. Because I was also first like, do I need just like one one little bit of spraying and that, that does the job? But um, yeah, you, you need a tiny bit more. You can also spray it immediately on the Alcantara, but I feel like you can be a bit more precise when you do it like one at a time. It will take longer, but that is totally fine. But also, of course, on the back side I have the black stains. It's normal. It's like everywhere. It's not just at the front, it's everywhere. But if you want to get it out, you really have to work it. You rub the interior cleaner from Via Montes into that Alcantara. Maybe you can see it now. You can see it's like... It starts to like... What do you call it? Foam? No. But you know what I mean, like when the bubbles appear. The bubbles on the cloth thing yeah bubbles on the cloth thing when that appears you know that's probably the right amount yeah honestly this is already looking far better feels already far better and I'm not even done yet I mean you can already see the pros uh, the progress right if I go over here the black gone like this is literally just like spots of liquid it's literally brand new compared to this. Do you see this? How worn off this is. Like here, the black stains compared to the brand new 
hyper clean and it literally feels like it's a new wheel and the good thing is it's a proper product like it's a cleaning product it's made to clean that means you're not gonna wear off the Alcantara at all if you're careful if you're literally taking a bit of time this is gonna make your Alcantara feel amazing and you can probably also if you don't like the racing gloves but you want a pretty nice steering wheel all the time this is the way to go you're not getting around any other way Either you go for gloves and even with gloves you won't be safe. I can tell you that already. Like this is not gonna fix it. Long term this is not gonna fix it. Gloves are all only good for so long and then you need to work on it as well. Because you still can... Like if this are like proper racing gloves then you would sweat inside the gloves and it would be disgusting. If you have like softer gloves that are like a bit more... Let's say they let air through then usually they are also getting destroyed after a while. And you need new ones and like... There will always be something that you have to get new. So, don't worry too much. You can also use all at the time. Like, the racing gloves are amazing. There are some pretty amazing products on the market. Definitely use gloves if you want to. It's just like, it's so warm inside in Germany. And when I'm driving for like 12 hours, gloves are maybe not the most viable option to me. If you know what I mean. It's just getting too warm and... Yeah. Sometimes just not what you need. If it's anyways already hot, maybe I will actually apply it this onto the steering wheel grip. Let's have it a bit more direct, just to try it out. I mean, this is kind of like showing you what's good, what's not. I think I prefer putting it on the cloth. Oh wait, my camera is not in focus. Putting it on the cloth, uh, cloth, and then and then using the cloth with the interior cleaner then putting the interior cleaner onto the racing wheel or onto the Alcantara and then using it that way but you can try around like this is all down to you I just don't want to take any risks I know this product is good but still I mean rather be careful than ruining something right always the way to go oh this looks so good this also feels so much better like honestly I can feel on the right on this one where it's not clean here where I'm holding it how like rough the surface is like it's so slick in some way like not really grippy on this one I have the nice Alcantara feel which is giving me that little bit of extra grip especially when driving it's really important to always have maximum grip from your steering wheel not slip off with extra sweat I mean it will happen again but you just gotta maintain it I think if you would make sure to like use this product probably once a week just a tiny bit like I literally haven't done anything for a month now it looks that bad it could look even worse but you know what I mean like it it is better if you maintain it on a regular basis it doesn't get too dirty and you don't have to work in too much like you can probably also save with the product and instead of like using it once at a time always like in insane amounts mm. but yeah this is kind of a cleaning video cleaning cell hygiene cell showing how to clean your fan attack because um yeah honestly take care of your alcantara i have a couple of wheels where it's completely ruined you will never never get it uh, back so make sure you always maintain it okay i think this is already looking pretty good let's maybe actually use the microfiber the soft one the finishing towel from via montes see if i can like work a bit of the material out a bit of the interior cleaner maybe it soaks up but this literally looks so new guys you cannot believe the difference that i'm seeing in front of me this side looks like clean all around or this side which looks dirty stained and just not nice right see that we completely got rid of it and i didn't even work on that that long so this is the clean one, this is the unclean one. Here you can see the nice blue versus the dark blue. Kind of black. In this angle you see it quite well. This side completely clean, this side completely dirty. Yeah, oh my god, the back is horrible. Like, look at this. Like, oh my lord. Like, if I get that down here where it's a bit wet. You can see this is literally all blue. This is just like a bit of... You can see the, how it changes the color. Because it's moist but on the other end like this is not moist this is literally staying like this all the time oh 
but I have to work that out as well. But you can see, I will now stop the recording just so I can clean that in peace. And then afterwards, I will get back to you and show you the finished reel. And maybe we have some kind of comparison. But yeah, so we are finished. I continue cleaning everything like it's completely done. It's completely clean, literally. I haven't used anything, guys, aside from the Via Montes interior. Yeah. Oh, there was a bit of spray coming out, but it's completely clean. Like you can also see it here. It's like nice and clean. Like the only where it's a bit darker, this is literally just the material, like the Alcantara itself. Um, but it's completely blue. It feels amazing. I've also cleaned the rest of the wheel, not just the Alcantara, because I was like, hey, focus, focus. Yep. Yeah. I was like literally cleaning everything. But you can see down here, it looks amazing. Everything is super nice and clean again. I might be able to jump to the beginning of the video and show you how clean it is compared to the beginning. The whole black stuff is gone. You can see it's fully blue again from both sides. I can see here the grip. Here, everything is just back to normal blue. And here as well, here as well. Everything is nice, clean, how it should be. And it didn't take much time. And you can see how Clean it is. You can also compare this blue. It's not the same, same exact blue. Like these two, but you can see these are completely blue. And yeah, it's that's how it's supposed to be. The interior cleaner, we have it here from the Amontes. This is what I've used. I've only used this product this year to rub it into the material. And this year to like clean it off in some in some way. No water used, nothing, no water at all. Uh, so literally just the cleaner, this here, then this towel, to rub it into the Alcantara and to finish it off and do the job on the Alcantara with that microfiber technology cloth. Amazing. Seriously amazing. Via Montes, thank you very much for these amazing products and for giving me these to try it out. And I can only recommend you guys. I will put a link into the description and with these products you can have a chance to win a freaking Porsche 911 GT3 RS or a driving experience with the M2 CS um, BMW and there will be more to come in the future. So this this company, keep that name VM on in mind. Um, I will also continue working with them on some other projects. You will soon know what this is. Uh, I can't wait to share you. You can see also all the products used here. This is so this is the end of the video. This is the finished product. Everything's nice and clean again. Make sure to check out the products, I will put them into the description, into the comments probably as well. And yeah, make sure to clean your Fanatec and Alcantara wheels, whatever. You can use it on sim racing products, on real cars, whatever. It is really good, so make sure to check them out. I really think this is fantastic and you don't need much of it, so it will be super clean, super cheap for you as well. And your wheels will always have nice quality and stay in a really good quality in overall. So yeah, you legends, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and check out my socials for more info, some more cool stuff coming up in the future. There will be really cool stuff coming soon. So make sure to always stay up to date. I love you all. Take care and see you in the next video. Peace.